presenting a video brought to you by RK Loves Gadgets. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? It's time for another exciting video from RK Loves Gadgets and I have quite an exciting video to show you today. I'm going to be showing you two items, two products, retro products even. Yep, yeah, it is retro time. I'm going to be showing you some two electronics. First of all, I'm going to show you this. It's the good. I'm going to. First of all, is the Goodman, the Goodman's Quadro 900. Yep, it is a pretty, also pretty known as a pretty damn old TV. Probably older than me, actually. I believe maybe it's from 19, probably late 1980s. As you can see, it has a radio and a television and a, a tape deck. Now, the tape deck, surprisingly, is not a VHS player. It's actually a tape, a, a regular audio cassette player. It has analog TV, so you won't be able to watch television on it because there's obviously no analog TV. It doesn't broadcast. It's pretty interesting, actually. On the front, you've got the television screen, and then there you've got you've got the um, the tape deck slot, and it, this is definitely like the tape decks that you you used to have in the car where you put the tape in and this little tab pops out as you do it. And there's the tuning dials, there's two tuning dials, one for tuning the television and the other one for tuning the radio. And then on the bottom you've got the on off switch and then you've got function switch that switches it between tape, radio and TV. You've got the band option for AM and FM and I believe it changes the band on the TV, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't seem to do much in the time I've ever played with it. I found this in a charity shop the, um, the other day. It was only about £10, and, it, and in practice it does actually work really well. And you've also got the volume control there. On the back, you've got V-hold, brightness and contrast. Those are your television controls. You've got the antenna input, so you can plug a television aerial external te television aerial and it actually has two power inputs this is the AC power input so it has this it comes with this AC AC uh, AC adapter and it also comes with and it, and it also runs on a 9 volt DC adapter and there's also a headphone socket and would you look at this this takes 5 D battery, big D cell battery. Take your cover off so you can see. Uh, it's a little bit dirty in the battery compartment actually. It's a, the battery compartment's a little bit dirty. There's corrosion on these contacts here. So, yeah. There is some information. Made in, made in Hong Kong and all that. On the back you've got some safety information. This is probably from the 80s, but this is quite a big, bulky beast. Nice handle there. £10, there's a lot left the price tag on there. So how about we get this plugged in, and I'll show you how this works. So plug this in. Bear with me a second. Let's get it in. There we go. So now it's plugged in. Sometimes I get curious if the camera's going to turn off or not, because you know I worry about that. It's got half battery left, so at least it's going to still keep going. Alright, so it's now plugged in. Turn the power on. Uh, sure it's not going to be too loud. First of all, now as I said, there's no analog TV. Oh, and I've forgotten to mention, this is the antenna, the 
area, all the tel telescopic area. And when it's fully extended, if I can show you, look at that, it's quite long. It's really long. It probably doubles as, doubles as a television aerial, but I'm not entirely sure. If I turn the telly on... See, the screen... It's one of those... It's one of those old screens where you have, like, a picture tube inside. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit for it to warm up to get... before it illuminates. The sound quality, by the way, is actually really good. Yep, I'm scanning the TV, scanning the television band right now, and there's nothing. So, we don't have analog TV anymore. Radio. We just have FM and AM. And use that other tuning dial to tune it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it with the radio. Oh. That's a bit of not the on off switch. Yeah, I like to listen to Heart. I've got to stop that now in case I get caught out with copyright infringement. Um, yeah, I'll show you the tape deck. Now, like I said, it's one of those, like one of those old car tape players. And basically, this is the tape. Uh, I believe it's a 60 tape, I should imagine, I'm guessing. And just put this aerial down now. Careful not to bend it. It is quite long, so bear with me a second. There we go. Now I'm going to put in this tape. Uh, way? Uh, way. And just like a car tape player, it actually starts playing straight away. thing is, you cannot rewind tapes on this, you can only fast forward and play, so if I press the button in like this, that's fast forwarding it, and you press it out again, it goes back to play. And you press it in all the way, that pops the tape out, so it's pretty basic, it's just like a car tape player.
Typically, this does not have automatic stop. So, as you know, automatic stop is usually occurred on tape players. When the tape ends, it, uh, the, it has some sort of mechanism that turn, automatically turns the tape off and it prevents it from getting damaged. So that's the Taylor Vision, Goodman Quadro, Goodman Quadro 900. And yeah, to bring in the next piece of retro vintage technology, I have a very old clock radio recorder. As you can see, it's one of those old classic clock radios with a tape deck. And I'll plug this one in as well. Get this one plugged in. There we go. So, as you can see, it's a tape player and the clock radio. And I haven't got much time on the camera left, so I'm going to have to be quick now. Uh, so we've got these switches. You've got the volume and the tuning. On the side, you've got the band option for long wave, short wave, and uh, long wave, medium wave, and FM. And you've got the information on the back. There's a nine volt battery backup, and there's the display. It's not displaying that I can't. I haven't figured out how to set the time yet, but you know, you've got a sleep timer. You've got all the buttons for setting the clock. And, you know, there's the dim, the display switch for bright and dim. Here's the snooze. Now, this panel is a touch panel, so you can actually touch it, and it puts the alarm in snooze mode. You've got the speaker right there, and there's even the internal microphone. On the front here, you've got these switches. You've got auto, off, and on, and then alarm, tape, uh, tape alarm, and radio. So, let's demonstrate the radio first. And this has got quite a powerful speaker, so this is going to be a bit loud. Too bad, actually. Um, just quickly tune the radio, show you the radio. There we go. And just demonstrated um, MW and LW, FM. Tuning tuning dial is actually quite stiff. Uh, I'll show you the tape. Yeah, apologies if I'm rushing a little bit because I'm um because uh, there's not much time on the camera. Pause the button for you, so you can pause the tape. This is really good sound quality. It produces a lot of bass. Back then, clock radios were quite a beasty, beasty old thing. This one is particular. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, that's all I can show you with these. You can actually, you you can also record on tapes as well. I found that you can actually record on it. Now both these devices are actually in good condition. The T, the tele, the Goodman Quadro 900 television is in good condition. This also is equally in good condition. I noticed that there is some scratches on it though. Let's see, there's a scratch on the side. I don't know if you can see it. There's a couple of Good scratch, a big scratch on the back, but it is in pretty good condition. I did notice though that when you record, when I record on the tape, sometimes after you've done the recording, the rec 
record button can be a little bit crackly at times. It, sometimes the speaker can produce a lot of static. I think this one must be from the 90s. If anybody recognises this and this, feel free to tell me in the comments what years you think they might be made. Oh, apart from that, that should be it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends on social media, whether you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus, Plus give the thumbs up, and come back for a whole lot more with RK Loves Gadgets. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.